Hey friends, welcome to another edition of Fit in 15. Today we have a Swiss ball workout. I know I'm not the only one who has one of these things laying around the house, okay? However, if you don't, you can substitute with like a chair or a low ottoman or, you know, get away with using nothing. It's fine, okay? Got a Swiss ball, got two sets of hand weights, got my mat all rolled out. Let's go ahead and start warming up. Why can you reach for the sky? Starting from the top of your head, we're gonna roll it down, take a deep breath at the bottom, and then roll it up. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, open out, start from the top of your head, roll it down to the bottom, and then roll it all the way up, and let's get some core rotations in here. Reach the arm all the way across your body. Now, if you've never worked on a Swiss ball before, you know that it's a lot of core work because we're going to balance a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So if you're like, ah, oh, I hate balancing, Jasmine, well, that just means you need it more. You need more balances in your life. Two more, take it down to the floor. Open up your stance a little bit wider if you need to. Sink into your legs. And if you can, you got one arm reaching down from the floor and the other arm reaching up for the sky. Let's do four more. Three, two, one. Squat, draw a big circle. Open up that chest. Open up that heart. Wake up those shoulders. Now, if you're new to these Fit and 15 videos, it's 10 exercises that we do for a minute straight with little rest in between, okay? Hands behind you. Give yourself a little booty kick here with your heel. Not necessarily trying to match any kind of music. I have music on, but it's just background noise. We're going for a minute. That's all you have to worry about. Now bring your knee in front of you and nice and high up to your chest. Still creating that rotation in the upper body. Okay? Let's do four, three, two, one. Plant your feet in the ground. Last deep breath. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, open out. One more time. Inhale up. And then exhale, open out. All right. So move that weight out of the way. Or your weight. Move your ball out of the way. First exercise, squat. We're going to take that ball up and overhead. Okay? Don't have a ball. You can use your dumbbell. You can use a pillow. You can use your puppy. Whatever. Or whatever you got. Mine has a little bit of weight to it, so this should be fun. Legs nice and wide. Touch the floor. Reach for the sky. Touch the floor. Reach for the sky. Little bend in the elbows here. A squat just feels like you're sitting down. And then you press up through the legs. I don't know if you can hear, there's like sand inside the ball. We can all imagine you're at the beach right now. And you're tossing that beach ball full of sand up in the air. Trying to get a full range of motion. So, I mean, I'm going like down as far as I can. And then extend the arms up. You can go really low with your squats as long as you keep your knees in check. All right, we got less than five seconds here. Let's finish strong. And then you're going to need a set of dumbbells. And we're going to lay on this ball for some one arm chest fly. Easiest way to do this is sit and then roll your body out. Wrists are facing in. Head is supported, one arm at a time. Open, close. It's like you're giving somebody a hug, but only one arm at a time. Soft bend the elbows. You're gonna feel your body shift side to side because it's trying to balance itself on that ball. Depending on how far apart your legs are, you're going to have more stability the wider your stance. So, if you are super wobbly right now, bring your feet wider than your hips. The closer your feet are, the harder it gets. Moving at your own pace, we're going for a solid minute. Oh, these are getting heavy. Lower half, feel it. All right, my friends, roll it up. All right, so we've got a plank rollout next. 
just your forearms are going to be on this ball. On our knees, draw the abs in. Hands kind of make a diamond. Roll it out into your plank, forearms on the ball. And then push yourself back up to that kneeling position. Now it's gonna hit up all the muscles that a traditional you know, plank will hit. But because we've got our hands pretty close together here on the ball, as we press up, you're getting your triceps as well. Inhale down. You can hold it for a second. And then lift halfway. Lift back up. Now, if you're still new to strength training, okay, if you need to hinge at the hip and then roll it back, that's fine. But there does need to be a plank in there somewhere. And a plank is that straight line from your head to your tailbone. All right, we've got five seconds. And then we're gonna put our hips on the ball for a back extension. So I'm gonna use the support here of my door behind me. I'm gonna put my hips on the ball. All right, so make sure you're anchored here. Fingertips behind the ears, inhale down, and then exhale to lift. Going up to a straight line. No need to go any higher. That's a hyper extension. Okay, you don't need to do that. Now, as far as your arms go, if you don't like them behind your ears, you can reach them behind you. Or, if you wanted to, you can extend them out in front. That's hard. <laughs> or you can do like a combo. Open up. Whatever you choose, okay, you're right. <laughs> Go with what's challenging you today. Ooh, lower back, feeling good, feeling good. Now we're all built different. If you need to adjust where this ball is placed underneath you, you do that, okay? All right, last one, boom. All right, what do we got next? Ooh, seated Arnold press with a leg extension. I'm gonna use my lighter weights here. Have a seat. Think good posture, starting from our eyeballs. We're gonna go around our head and extend one leg out at a time. Just keep sitting up nice and tall. If you don't like doing the leg thing, that's fine. You don't have to do the leg thing. Depending on how inflated your ball is or even the size of your ball. I mean, this is, yeah, this is gonna be difficult in the balance department. Stare at something that's not moving, okay? That will help. Keep pulling the abs in. Keep sitting up nice and tall. Like you're sitting in the most upright chair that you have in your house. This ain't no recliner, come on. We've got about 10 seconds left. And then, we got a fun one coming up. It's a rolling lunge. Ooh, I'm shaking on that one. Your shoelaces are going to be on the ball. Anchor yourself next to a wall or a chair. Starting with the knees side by side, you're gonna slide your leg back into a lunge. And then bring it back in. Okay, so it might take a few attempts to get your rhythm down or your foot position just right, and you know what, that's okay. There's like a few things going on here. Not only is it balance, but you're working on your lower body, you're working on that leg strength and this front leg, and then you're getting flexibility and range of motion work in that back leg. Chest stays lifted, core is engaged, could you do this with dumbbells? Yeah, yeah, you probably could. Whoa. I don't know if you can see, but I'm like wiggling around all over the place. I kind of stole this from a Pilates reformer move I used to do back in the day. Ooh. Okay, that's hard. Give yourself a lot of grace on that one because it is hard. Let's switch. So 
your shoelaces on the ball. Start with your knees side to side. Draw the abs in, roll the shoulders back. And you're gonna slide that ball straight behind you. And then right back up. Now it's still a lunge, so we wanna make sure that this knee stays behind the toe. One side might feel a little different than the other. It's fine, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Come on, admit it, this is a fun one. This is fun. Y'all, even though I don't have any weights in my hands, I still feel, I feel that upper body working. I think it's because my entire core is just trying really hard not to fall. Take your time. I know going slow is hard, but gives you the opportunity to really have control over your movements. Whew. All right, next, grab your dumbbells. I'm moving with the lighter weights. And we're gonna do a reverse fly. Okay, so here's the thing. Put this between your legs, you're gonna squeeze the heck out of it. Hinge forward. And just like we were doing that fly, laying down one arm at a time, this one's a reverse fly. Both arms opening up, okay? Now we're doing this for a whole minute. If your lower back is really, really starting to feel sore, straighten up, give yourself a break, and then come back down. If you want to, you can even do one arm at a time. Totally fine. Trying to get the elbow behind you. Okay, now I am still conscious of the fact that I'm squeezing squeezing this ball. My legs are sweaty. All right, we got about 10 seconds here. Eyes are gazing down at the floor. Sweat is dripping off my chin. This is the second time I've done this, so forgive me. Oh, oh, oh hamstring roll in, yes. This one's like one of my favorites. You gotta lay down. Put your heels on the ball, keep your knees close together, hands on the floor for support. Booty up, roll it in, push it out, booty down. Up, in, out, down. Up, in, out, down. So your heels start on the ball. Lift up, roll it in so that your feet are on the ball, and then lower down. And again, you know, if you've got to make adjustments, you make adjustments. You hit pause, you make adjustments, and then you keep going. Hamstrings, yo. Hamstrings. <sighs> now I've got my hands up like this. You could also have them down on the floor. I don't know why, I know this is a harder version, but I feel like this one works better for me. <sighs> Lift, pull it in, push it out. Lower down, lift, pull it in, push it out, lower down. Oh, big gravy, it doesn't take long. Ooh. And the last one we've got to do, it's called a ball pass, okay? So you're gonna hold onto the ball between your feet, and then you're gonna open up to the letter V, and you're gonna pass that ball to your hands, okay? You decide how big that letter V is gonna be.
on the floor. Extend the arms up to the sky. Do a real quick stretch here for my hammies. Now, this is the end of the road. Awesome, good job. You did it. You moved today, I'm proud of you, okay? If you want to, you can rewind and do it all again from the beginning, or you can pair it up with another one of my Fit and 15 workouts, okay? Whatever you decide to do, you're right. Go with that, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.